Hi guys, welcome back. So today's video is about how to solve sample paper. You already know it from the title or the thumbnail, but the real purpose of this video is you people actually from the last two weeks i was getting a lot of mail and lot of dms in my insta that how to solve the sample paper and what are the thing which i am following while solving the sample paper so yes in this video i will be telling all the things which i am following for solving the sample papers and also how you can solve the sample paper as like me so before we start the first thing we need to know is about our syllabus Till this time almost our syllabus is completed and some of we have revised our syllabus once or twice as well because the syllabus is so small. In maths it is a little lengthy but till now we must have to complete our syllabus. We need to read all the things of NCRT which is in the syllabus without completing the syllabus don't do the sample paper this is a request to you guys if you haven't completed the syllabus just go and study and clear all the backlogs that you have because without completing the syllabus if you see the sample paper you will be scared and you will think that you won't be able to do anything so the first and foremost step is completing the syllabus this is one of the most important thing after completing the syllabus now you are ready to solve the sample paper now you just take any of the subject and start solving Suppose for maths, if you have completed the syllabus of maths, just take a sample paper of maths and solve it. See, there is total 7 days in a week and we just have 6 subjects to complete. So, if we take 1 subject per day, we will be able to complete all the sample papers within a week. It is not a matter of tension that we don't have any time to solve the sample paper and etc. We have a lot of time. Just take one paper and solve it. Now some of you will ask me from where we will get the papers. What I am following is that I am following a book for the sample papers. See I always prefer hard copies for all my study materials because I think that it helps me to retain the things better in my mind. So the book which I am following for the sample papers is CBSE sample question papers of Oswald. I have choose this book for my sample paper because it is strictly as per the term wise syllabus and it includes all the sample papers which is released on 2nd of September 2021. You will also get exam targeted 5 solved and 5 self assessment papers. All the type of MCQs are included in this book that means the assertion reasoning and case based question. All the type of question which can come in our exam. And one more amazing thing which I like the most is that this contains OMR sheet after each sample paper question. So from this OMR sheet you can get the idea how to solve the papers in our exam time, how the OMR sheet will come and how we have to fill up the OMR sheet. So this is a very helpful thing which you might not get in other books but in this book you will get the OMR sheet. So this is one of the pinpoint which I like the most. And also all the answer carries the explanation part so there is no doubt to understand the answers. So coming to the part of mind map, uh, you will also get all the mind map of the chapter in the beginning of this book. So you don't have to buy any other book for mind map. All the mind map are included in this book. And one more newly included thing is that this book contains on tip notes which is for quick revision. This is a summarization of all the chapters just only in few pages and for detailed study just scan the QR code which is given on the book you will get all the study material which you need for the term 1 exam so I have given the link of this book in the description box for your ease you can just check it out it is a very good to go book for sample papers and I am recently following this book and it is undoubtedly helping me out so you can also try the book the link is in the description box just go buy it and start solving the things so finally we have solved the sample paper we have completed the syllabus but what is the result that what we can understand from solving the sample papers by solving the sample papers you can identify the areas in which you are weak at suppose in maths if you are not able to do a particular chapter's question you have to practice that chapter more so just find the areas in which you are weak and which needs to be improved so for the improvement we have to find the areas in which we are weak at and that can only done by solving the sample papers. So solving the sample papers is the most important one and after solving the sample paper just find the areas in which you are weak and you have to practice that 
portion from NCRT more and more. So let's come to the last thing which we need to do and it is the most important thing in the entire video that we need to revise NCRT more and more. See frankly telling CBSE always prefer NCRT book for all the questions so mainly Yes, there can be question based on the basic of the NCRT book, but you can also get the same to same thing like the activity which we got in the sample papers. So NCRT book is the most important thing. You have to understand all the things of NCRT book line by line so if you ask me from where we can understand we don't have any tutor just search on youtube you will get a bunch of videos with great teachers so don't be tense this time just understand the concept of ncrt properly and do all the things which i said in the video i will guarantee you you will get a very good marks by following all the steps which i said in this video because if you maintain these things you will be able to cover all the questions which are probable in the exam so there will be no hesitation while we see the question paper we can do all the questions so easily so yes that was all about today's video hope this video was helpful to you guys if it was helpful share with your friends let them also know how to solve the sample papers to get a very good score in board exam so yes that was all about today go and revise took a sample paper and solve them and let me go for today